Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When you need an image for a project, where do you find it? I know many of you likely go to Google and search for images there. You can flip to the image tab. It's an option at the top. I'm pointing like it's actually there and it's not, but you've probably used that feature of Google, if not in your favorite search engine. It likely has some kind of image search. I know at Geeks, dot perillo dot com when people upload images you could also search through images there although the way that the platform manages the uh, I guess the copyright or Creative Commons license for said images is a little wonky sometimes I'll go to Flickr look for images there and uh, you know hopefully uh, find what I'm looking for sometimes I have to go to 13 different sites in order to find the image that I'm you know wanting and sometimes the image is licensed and sometimes that that I can use it you know, with attribution, and sometimes I would actually have to pay for the image in, in, in some kind of a stock photography. So a friend of mine the other day released a website, Cyclops, and that, that's that's it. It's cycla dot cycla dot c c y c l o dot p s. Kind of creative. So, uh, which, which makes sense because what you do here is you search for an image, any, any kind of image, and it'll search through databases like Fotolia, Shutterstock, Big Stock Photo, iStock Photo, uh, Stock Exchange, Flickr, and Photos.com. So, uh, now th of course, most of those are going to be uh, stock photography sites, but uh, what are we looking for? Let's look for Geek. There we go. Monster Machine goes to work. And now we get to view uh, the images that uh, are returned for the search geek. And I'm gonna zoom in here, just a second. Right now I'm browsing big stock photo. I can drop down in this menu and go to Flickr. These are all the geek photos on Flickr. There's iStock photo. It loads those results. Of course, I could also click the links here at the top of the page. And this is nice, again, because you're able to do a meta search on Tons of geeks. Wow, this actually this this one this one right here. This one's kind of freaking me out, right? I'm just gonna. It's kind of funny there. I'm just my finger, my cursor is in the geek's mouth, and he's like, right there in the center. How's that for framing? Any old way. Okay, I'm gonna turn that away. So not. I've shown you where you can go to search for images uh, that specifically would help you um, really complete a project, and these. Uh, are more than often uh, licensed to uh, you as long as you pay a fee. And, and if you're a photographer, uh, maybe you'd uh, not thought about starting to submit your photos to stock photo sites. It's a good way to make money uh, from the photos that you're taking. Uh, I've never done that. Uh, most of the photos that I upload just go on to Flickr, Creative Commons license, blah, 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 blah. I'm just not that particular about photos. In fact, I'm not all that particular about video either. I ask people to embed my videos all over the place. And I know that some people even record live video for me doing the video stuff here at live.perillo.com. They throw it on YouTube, and I'm, I'm pretty fine with that as well. And uh, anyway... So I wanted to tell you about this site. It's an easier way of finding images without having to search over and over and over and over again for the same keyword. Hopefully this is going to help you complete your next project, specifically if you understand the, the, the uh, licensing and how it works and that you can't always get something for free. But the search is certainly free. And uh, yeah, see there's a watermark right there in the middle that would keep me from using that in a, in a professional project. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's important to note. And it's also one of the reasons why I go to Flickr and look for Creative Commons licensed uh, artwork because I, a lot of the projects that I need just don't need that level of, you know, professionalism. Not to say that that's a, <clears throat> well, I guess if I was looking for geeks in love, I don't think there's a better photo out there. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of other image meta searches. Let me know. Uh, feel free to drop me a line. You're also welcome to join the community at geeks.perillo.com, and we do have photographers there, plenty of artists of all kinds. And uh, then you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. Uh, we've got it pretty much going on all the time. It's sewn into the video digitally. It's a, it's a little trick that I've shared before, but it's always going. The chat room is always here, and even if I'm not here at my desk, this video is going on. The chat room is here, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day. 
seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.